Hey everybody, what's up? It is another unboxing, and this is a new subscription box to me. As far as I know, they've been around for a while, but I don't see that much about them on YouTube. So, we're just going to jump right in. This is the BeautyCon box. This comes three or four times a year. I'm a little unclear as to exactly how many times it comes, but it's not a monthly. It's a every three months or every four months, I want to say. But this came in my mailbox today. And this is what it looks like. It's beautiful, holographic. Just super, super pretty. This one is $30 um, every few, every three months, I think. I think. I figured it out. But it's basically 30 bucks, And there's no spoilers. There are no sneak peeks except for maybe one or two if they send you the email and you open it. The only thing that I know about this is that this box has 10 items in it, over $130 value. That's all I know. That's it. I don't know anything else at all. So, I thought we would share together if I can get it off. Alright, so we're going to open it up. I did cut the tape, that's it. Okay. On the inside, looks like that. Okay. It says, oh hey beauty, why are you reading this? Unbox me already. Okay, I will. And it tells you tips for the perfect unboxing, which I will look at and do later. Over there. Okay, so these are the goods. And oops, this is the little card, I'm assuming. <gasps> Come on. Okay. I gotta put it down for just a second. Okay, so this is broken holographic CD. That's kind of cool. It says summer essentials on the back with a list of everything that's in here. There are no prices, but we're not going to look at this because we all want to be surprised together. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it's like a little cellophane bag with a sticker. Woo! Oh my, something fell out. I'm going straight to beauty prison for that. Stream close up. Okay, 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 okay. The first thing is from Dirty Little Secret. It's an eyeshadow print. I'm throwing things now. I'm just throwing stuff. Why not? It's fun, right? Okay, I went and got what I threw, which was extremely rude to me. I don't want to play pink now. No, I don't. My dog wants to play. It's beauty gun boxing! Okay, so I picked up the thing that I threw, which is a Dirty Little Secret eyeshadow crayon in ooh gold plated so this is what the packaging looks like like that whoa okay so okay and you twirl it up like that that is what it looks like I think I may have to zoom you guys in or bring you to me earthquake hang on sorry my dog's in my spot. That's all right. At a table. Or I'll figure it out. All right. So that's what it looks like. Very pretty. You know, very pretty, pretty. Let's swatch. Let's swatch. It's very soft going on. Not overly pig. Not overly pigmented. But you know, it's not bad what it looks like. Not bad. It looks like on. Let's do that, shall we? Why not? Very nice going on. Very creamy. Very smooth. Can you tell I'm wearing it? Well, I can, but you guys can't. It's very nice, though. So can you see it? No, it's very light. It's not super intense color, but I mean, it's there. It's definitely gilded. Not bad. Curious to play around with it. It doesn't feel like it's a little sticky, but not bad. No, it's kind of nice. I find pots to put this since my dog's now hogging the entire couch. Okay, so there's that. Next up, there's 
so much in here. Oh, let's just go for this big giant guy. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Bamboo charcoal facial sheet masks. Powerful detoxifier. Pore minimalizer by the Feel Brilliant brand. Sometimes in life we carry on unnecessary baggage, you know, unhelpful thoughts, guilt, the should-haves and the could-haves, or even jealousy. It can take its toll on us and dull our inner light. Learning the art of letting go is tough, but bit by bit we realize that the lighter our thoughts, the lighter we feel, the brighter we shine. And what if we could feel brilliant every day? Amazing, right? So, it's got active charcoal for deeply purifying and detoxifying pores. It removes oil, reduces blemishes, and clears clogged pores. <sighs> Hyal Hyaluronic acid to tone skin. Mask made of non-woven bamboo fiber. It says, use weekly to replace salon facial treatment, cleanse skin and dry, apply facial mask to skin, and leave on for at least 30 minutes. Oh boy, to deeply penetrate and detoxify your skin, remove mask and rub remaining serum into skin. I'm assuming there's one mask per um, package, and it's made in Korea. Cool. I will definitely try that. Who doesn't need a little little skin love? Sorry, right, lay down. You're driving me nuts. Gosh. Okay, next up is a mal. Uh, I was going to say Milani, but it's not. It's a Deco Miami nail liqueur, vegan, cruelty-free, egg-free, luxury-grade formula. Oh, it's a cuticle oil in lemon blossom. Huh. It's a cute little packaging. It's like in a little triangle. That's what it looks like. I'm not even sure I know how to... Oh, there we go. This is going to be a long video, y'all. Okay, that is tiny. Huh, I've never even heard of this company. That's why I get this box now. Oh, definitely smells like lemongrass, though. That's nice. That's actually really nice. I might actually try that. My nails could use a little love since I got some gel nails with acrylic tips on. This is what they tell me at the nail place. I don't know. I just go in and get my nails pretty so I don't break them every five seconds. That's so really cute. I don't want to keep that box. That's cute. Next up, ooh, I own this brand. I love this brand. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Renewing Cucumber Peel Off Gel Mask. Oh, instantly refreshes and clarifies for rejuvenated skin. I have this in. Oh gosh, <laughs> the illuminating one, it's like a uh, pomegranate and something. I love these. I absolutely love these. And this is probably four or five tries in here at least. So that's cool. It's not full size, but I don't, I don't need it. I'm not mad at it. Next up, ooh, is a nail file from Deco Miami. Crystal nail file. Ooh. This is probably, I think, one of those glass ones that I've always wanted to try, but I've never bought, because, let's face it, I can't afford to. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, it is. It's really, really nice. That's what it looks like. I never understood how these work, but... I'm really excited. It could be, like, a serious deadly weapon, too. Uh, that is really pretty ombre look to it and comes its own little little felt sleeve that's really really cool that's awesome i kind of like that that's schnifty next up is oh there's a couple things in here okay this is what is this this is a makeup drop don't waste a drop cruelty free non-toxic paraben free silicone makeup applicator it says nothing. This is made, I think, strictly for Beautycon. That little emblem, I'm guessing. 
Does apply a small amount of makeup directly to the makeup drop using soft circle motions. Blend the makeup in the skin. Do not use a punctured side. Stop eating your ball. Oh, this is why you don't get pit bulls rope toys. Just saying. And it says to, sim to clean, simply wash with warm water and soap. Okay. I've never seen one of these before. Oh. That's weird. It says Beauty Kong and Makeup Drops. So I'm assuming this is a collaboration kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Feels good. I don't know. I've never used one of these before for makeup. Like, I don't even know if I would know how to do that. But there's a video. It says, if you don't know what you're doing, go watch the video. So, I will go watch the video. And then let you know what I think. That's cool. That's really, really cool. I like that. That's neat. I like neat things. Cool. Next up is the... Oh, I love... Love, love, love this brand. This is a Manicadar, um Flutter Mascara in Jet Black. Oh, where did that one be nice? There it is. This is cool. One of these days, I'm telling you, I'm going to go through that. I'm going to really, really hurt myself. But it says Step 3, Perfect Flutter Mascara. So it's just Step 1 and 2. I'm wondering if it could be used on its own. I'm hoping so. This is a packaging. Very, very cute. Very sleek. Very simple. Okay. That is a very trippy wand. So. Let's use it. Shall we? Okay. Alright, it's doing a pretty good job at getting all my lashes, which, as you guys know, I don't have that many of. It's kind of a wet formula. I mean, it's not bad. Like, there's one with, there's one without. So, I mean, it's definitely wet. Like, I can feel it. Yeah, it kind of transfers a little bit, but I mean... Gets right in there. Not bad. And to the other side, so I don't feel so weird. Because this one is a side that always gives me trouble. And the mascara tried out. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely more of a wet formula than I'm used to. But I mean, clumping is not really clumping at all. I'm giving me a very sleek look. Like, look, now I have eyelashes. Yay! That's always a bonus. It's for me. How about you guys? I can't do false lashes. Every time I do it, I'm like stabbing myself in the eye, so there's literally no point. But I mean, even just sitting here looking into the, the, the camera or the computer camera, you know, it's not bad. So for that right there. Ow! See? Yeah, but this looks like I'm wearing okay, the liquid eyeliner, and I'm not at all. Okay, three things left. Next thing is a, you never know how to pronounce this company, so I'm sorry, you guys. It's either Deuce or Duce Lush Lip Gloss. I have no idea what the color is, or if Lush is the color. Okay, it's called Glistening Petals. Cool. Hey, stop it! Okay, that's a very nice dual applicator. It's a very, very pretty color. I'm going to put it on. Why not, right? Let's wait for that mascara to go flying off the table. Has like a, a fruity scent to it or floral maybe? Okay, I think you could in love with this. Oh, there's a very weird smell coming off this thing though. It's not a bad smell, but 
don't know, it's a little bit almost off-putting because you're not expecting a lip gloss to smell like that. But I like the color. I like the color a lot, actually. That's a very nice... Sammy! Gosh! <laughs> That's a very pretty color. I do like it. This video is going to be a little long, you guys. Sorry about that. It wouldn't be if Simon would stop tearing apart his toys. Just saying. You know, I really... I really like that. It's not overly gloppy or goopy or tacky. But it just, it feels really nice on the skin, like nice and moist and not like super drying or anything. I think I'm seriously going to like that. I have to work tomorrow, so I think this is going to go in my bag for tomorrow. I'm kind of, I'm digging this so far. I'm really liking what's happening. Next up we have by Jolt Blue or Jolt Blue. Not sure how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. It's just an eyeliner pencil. Ooh, an electric blue. Sorry. I'm filming. Pain the butt. Oh, yes. Um, right here. Yes. 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 I am so going to use that. Mm-hmm. I'm so going to use that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and it blends out a little bit. So it does blend out just a little bit, oh, but it feels so nice on. Oh, so excited to use that. I wanted a different color. So now if I do like my super pale pink. Stop it. Stop it. This is what he's been chewing on. This is why you do not buy toys from the dollar store for your pit bulls. Okay, this is what they do to them. And then they eat them. Okay. Anyway, okay, last thing if my dog will let me have my space back, which I doubt. Okay, so the last thing in here is by ColourPop. Oh, my box was open. It is an ultra satin lip. I've never tried anything from ColourPop before, so I get to try this. It's super freaking excited. It's in the color London Fog. <gasps> I wonder if that's the color. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. I'm so excited. I've never had anything. Whoa, that is so not the top. <laughs> hey. Wow. Oh, I'm a little scared. Not gonna lie, that is super bright pink. I don't know if I can. Oh my god. Holy crap. That is so bright. That is so bright. That is so pretty. Oh, that is so, so pretty. It's like a very, very dark berry color. It is so pretty. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear that. Sucks. Oh, but that is so pretty. I don't know. It's drying a little bit deeper. I might be able, I might be able to get away with that if I do like maybe a dramatic eye. Oh, that is so pretty, though. That is so, 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 so pretty. I like that. I'm so excited, you guys. So that is everything in my box. I have to say, there are some in here that I know. Um, like the Manicadar, I do know that brand. I've got a couple things from them um, in my boxy charm, and I love them. Um, I've gotten a couple things from a couple things from Duce or Deuce. Um, Hit or miss, there was one thing that I loved and then one thing that I absolutely hated. There, um, I don't remember what it was now because I know I got rid of it. And then I've never heard of this. Super excited to try them. Wicked excited to try them. Never heard of these guys. Super excited to try them. I'm excited to try all this stuff. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I do know about this, these guys. I got a lipstick. Um, from them that I absolutely hated, so I gave it to my daughter, and she absolutely hated it. Um, so we gave it to somebody else. This, I know, love this. Super excited to have these in the cucumber, because my daughter has a cucumber and she won't share. And then I'm super excited to try these. So, all in all, a lot of stuff that I haven't had before. So, in all honesty, yes, some of these are samples. A lot of these are full size. Like, I know this is full size. 
and practically everything I think except for these three things are full size. So is it worth 30 bucks every few months? Uh, yeah, it is. So like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know if there's something you want to see more in depth, if you want to see a look with, if you want a more, a more in-depth review on. Subscribe if you haven't. Would love to have you as part of my viewing family. And until the next box comes, you guys, see you later. Bye.